Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this mini series or based on my tour, my solo tour around Tunisia. To all my Tunisian friends, I hope it does justice to your beautiful country and to anybody else considering visiting Tunisia or doing a cycling tour in Tunisia. I hope it helps. Enjoy, subscribe, like, share. Hope you can watch all of them. Thank you. lunch in Algem with a couple of tourists from I think Italy I think they said but uh, now on back on the road to Mahdiya hopefully it won't be too long before I'm in Mahdiya um, five o'clock I'm aiming for let's see how long it takes I've got a headwind suddenly because I've changed direction to head towards Mahdiya but anyway the roads are easy enough a couple of hills Mehdiya, here we come. Gorgeous coastal town. Wow, look at these palm trees. Stunning. Not long now, about an hour to Mehdiya. About one hour left. And Truth be told, I'm feeling it. I think this could well be the longest ride I've done in Tunisia. Uh, not much elevation, but it can be quite tedious just to have to keep spinning the legs. Could be worse places to be doing that though. Here, take a look. Right. Concentration, motivation. My motivation is I'm going to go to my favorite cafe in all of Mehdiya, right opposite the Fatimid Mosque. They do a banging orange juice, amazing coffee, and a lovely chocolate cake. So, all I'm thinking about for the next 10 miles. I'm a cheap date orange juice and chocolate cake and I'm happy about four kilometers on the outskirts of Mehdiya, four kilometers from the center of Mehdiya. And hopefully the sea that I left three weeks ago. I'm so tired. Longest ride I think in Tunisia for me. Definitely the longest solo. It's been a tough one. Leaving Kairouan, coming into El Gem, having a great chat with some tourists, and then having to leave them and do these last 20 odd, 25 miles on my own again. But we're here. Let's go. The center of Mahdiya soon. Three kilometers, I think. I see, I see, I see the sea. Look at that. Finally, I've got a right at this roundabout and then head all the way down to the port. To the old city and to the Fatimid Mosque. 
five more minutes i can see it from here i can see the fort over there metro station straight in front of me you've got the strip um a lovely beach the fort and the Fatimid mosque i'll show you that in a bit definitely in the tourist strip definitely got a vacation holiday theme about it and I'm off in that direction so here to my right is the old Grand Fatimid Mosque further up the hill that way um, is the fort looking out to sea and I want to go that cafe there, I desperately need a wee wee. So here it is, Café Al Medina. Very nice it is too. I think this is where I'm going to stop my Strava. I've got some real holiday vibes about it. The last two times I've come here, it's been proper dead. Seems like it's come to life. Come at the right time anyway. too much to see in Mehdiya it's gorgeous this little walk all the way around the peninsula is, is really nice um, <coughs> I would normally have said <coughs> a stop in the Medina cafe would be recommended as well but they were super rude so I'm not gonna spend my money with uh, somebody who's rude I just said can I leave my bike in the doorway I wasn't in anybody's way whilst I just go for a wee and then I'll order and he's like no leave it outside well all the way outside in my case take my money elsewhere thank you very much So 
So the last time I was here you had a whole load of workmen working on this whole area. Looks like they've put these in here to lock your bikes up and then put that in there as well to lock your bikes up. Very nice. At least they finished the work. So you got the Fatimid Fort, the Jibana or the cemetery that's still in use. So you got some like super, super old, old, old graves and then graves all the way to this day. And you can see the graves go all the way down. I'm just going to follow it around to the top end. And then there's a lovely little arch just over there going into the sea. I'll go take a picture there. It is very pretty Mahdiya, very pretty. Quiet, but pretty. Cap Africa. Again, you got. I've been here twice on foot, and it's been so much more difficult to discover on foot. I mean, you see a lot more, but sorry, you see a lot more detail, but you don't see as much. If that makes any sense, with a bike, you can just get around really, really quick. There's the little arch feature that I was telling you about. Looks like there's a burial going on just over there. There's a gorgeous little port there. Right, stop this here. We're gonna go down to the arch, take some pictures, and then uh, off to see my friend. You look at that. Isn't that stunning? I think I'm going to try and make my way down there just to uh, maybe you can see the arch I'm not sure if you can see it just there right wow look at that We made this company Media Bike Tour. We organize, we make organized tours, culture nice. and uh, food and nature, and we rent bikes and uh, electric scooters. Oh yes, so I seen I think I seen some of the scooters yeah. earlier scooters. on. <laughs> Very popular. It makes sense, you know, when it's this flat. Yeah. It's this anybody can, you don't need to be fit. Yeah, yeah. Like okay, it helps if you're fit. 
but even if you're not fit it's accessible to everyone because it's so flat like some of the curbs near the Medina Atiqa yeah. they like they're a bit rubbish mm -hmm. you need like level access mm -hmm. because you can't just jump from but anyway slowly slowly at least some of the curbs they are like yeah. slowly but you can't win straight away slowly slowly but how did you find the, the, the street we the street uh, from uh, El Jam to Madia. It was, uh, there's some hills, but it's... Uh, oh, street. no, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, no hills, no hills. Like, when I say hills, I mean like Ain Ah, no. <laughs> Not like, uh, like no, these yeah. ones here, they're like 3%, 4%, that's yeah, like, yeah. no problem. That's why I got here before schedule. I got here, I was just outside um, having coffee by four o'clock. My target was half past five. Mm -hmm. And four o'clock I was here. So what's What's like the rate for Tunzi and what's the rate for foreigners? Rate for uh, like for the higher. Here's the marlin in Mahdiya. So you meant this big fish, yeah? Swordfish. Swordfish. go we'll just huh? if this is the one we just go is there another one there are many ones there one uh, next uh, hotel med if you want to really sleep. i mean i'm not like literally if you put a bed there i would sleep i just need no, I know, to sleep I know, but uh at least there's a choice if you want if you want to take a look here and take a look at the other side then we decide if this place yeah, is yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. we're gonna do a little tour anyway so we're yeah, tourism, tourism yeah, yeah. Uh, not from here, not from here. You know, you know, Safedin, I didn't say Safedin. Safedin. Fat bikes. 